Night Springs. And it has three episodes. We are starting with number one fan. And well, there's other he other heroes from an other remedy games, so we start with number one fan. I was going to stream retro games, but I suppose we are going to get to the Elder Scrolls online at some point. But let's play the first episode at least. It's the door. A fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? Nice. Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Teleplay by Alan Wake. Best pie in town. I think I, I know who's the biggest fan. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then BAM! Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. <sighs> but my day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. The interesting thing with this girl is that she got it touched by the darkness in the first game. Hi everyone! Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. She spent really good advice. <laughs> Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this dino, your bird century? And that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much. She has a bird sanctuary. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that writer was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. This must be a fantasy fantasy Another for her. Cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his nice sheer beard. literary talent. And flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Hi! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables! Shucks! Okay, 
best pie. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. <laughs> Any advice? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Oh, you still have to put in some effort. If you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow patches? <laughs> elbow oh, patches. Got it. Everyone That's looks like Alan, Alan Veig. <laughs> Don't mention it. Is Knott Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Okay, the that's interesting yoga. Town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I better take these plates back to the service window. Excuse me. Can I borrow you? What can I get you? Oh, <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. Oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. I'll grab you a copy from the back. Okay, so she has novels in the storage as well. Any pages? Poopa suit. Okay. <laughs> Employee of the decade. So where's the book? Uh, the book is not here. I think. Only. No time for that. I've got customers waiting. Any any of those books? No. Okay, fine then. Uh, so what's our goal? Book from the back. Hmm. 
Because I, I didn't figure out something. <laughs> so where's the damn book? I mean, it's it's not here. There's no other hotspots I can I can influence. Whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't uh. worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. So that's Luckily, how. I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. So that's how. Alan Wake is talking to her. <laughs> okay, kitchens. Okay, she's running and alone. I suppose takes real. My accessories. <laughs> Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. Right. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. Uh huh. I was finally ready for a night out on the town with danger. We do not get the... Uh, What's the button for? Inventory once again. Uh, 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 that's a control. So we have a... Decent uh, up, uh, amount of... Weaponry. I like how the how pink is this all. Run the diner while you're gone. It will be way worse at it. How did we all love his pugs? Uh-huh. Save literature! Uh-huh. Graceful enough to save me. I was leaving my old life behind. Like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the right. Yeah, I don't know if I like that metaphor. Oh no. With the high heels. less handsome version of my writer. Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. 
You're his brother! I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common, and after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights! <laughs> he had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? You can't join him? Beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this! I'll stop you! Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have love. I have shotgun. I have I love. I have the power of love! Oh, is that right? Well, you're gonna need more than your feelings if you want to stop all of us. Only a monster could be blind to the brilliance of my writer's book. Ah! Ah! Molly! It's bullets o'clock. Between me and my writer. Fully automatic shot. Okay, this is way to make it make a overkill. Ouch. I can't, can't dodge in this game. <laughs> Never keeps up. Okay. A monster could... Okay, how to dodge. Dodge. Space. Okay, it's a space. Blind to the poignance of my writer's books. <laughs> Oh yeah, go for a headshot. Headshot. Okay, that's a bad. sure I like the uh, feeling of the uh, okay let's heal uh, of the shooting I'm in Alan Wake too it's like not ve uh, very innovative innovative so you just try to My hunt the headshot jerky twin had him locked up somewhere like a sweet helpless prince locked in a tower but his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. So this is basically a fantasy of fan. The twin's motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my rider and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. Okay. More 
haters. Läksi kylälle. Tämä, tämä on ihan totta. Tämä, tämä jakso kertoo siitä, kun fanin fantasia toteutuu. Hän pääsee pelastamaan fantasiansa kohteen. Kevich Bay. Do we have a map? We have a map here. The goal map again. Yep. yep. No. No a, a map. This is a fantasy. from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Oh, that <laughs> man has more layers than a croissant. Okay. So what's here? Okei, okay, so this is Alan Wake's book. My number one fan. If I don't make it, then I just want you to know that. No, I can't say it. Okei. Okay. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. cabin Was okay. my rider inside? Hello? Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little rider? Hello? Is anybody there? I'm just a frail rider and I require aid. <gasps> He's inside! <laughs> and sit through big poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My rider only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. <laughs> I'll be waiting upstairs. Another motorcycle. Okay. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. <laughs> Brothers. Where are 
you! I was never upstairs! I lied when I said there were no more tricks. Ooh, you're starting to peeve me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Blood <laughs> spoon. Shot down at the beach. It's just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker? He had crossed the line. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. Not this beach. This beach. <laughs> beach. <laughs> okay. The twin said he was down at the beach. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. <laughs> and I'm not telling you where he is. You are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You're rude. You have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop. I don't like being seen. Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> no! He tripped me, even with my famously keen perception. I think this has uh, some homage to the ho lollipops and chainsaws. Ouch. actually uh, reloads the rifle in proper way.
He can't can't go that way. What? I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. Right. My writer believed in me. I, I wonder if spirits. if this episode says that she, like she's actually being a madhouse. Like a wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. supposed to avoid them. They are basically missiles. of love. The bad boy. So the bad boy was a um, werewolf because this isn't 
nearly oh, enough uh, weird. On. I need to fill my gun up. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> good, good, good game. I yeah. I never even had a chance. <laughs> I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair. But mostly, that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. You can have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. Okay. Reach the top level. Death penalty. pretty fast <laughs> although yeah I, I think healing is a bit faster as, as well champion of literature society of high art which reminds me current day high li literature is actually a trash literature of the of the past like a, a Robert E Robert E Howard Conan books. They were trash. Oh, H.P. Lovecraft also trash back in the day, but now now they are like a high literature. Knocking interesting door. Okay, so this was the um, old people's house in a. Ryder isn't going to kiss himself. I mean, save himself. Uh huh. Okay. So she gets here, where nobody almost ever gets. And there he was. After all the fighting, we were finally alone, together. Our love was written in the stars, and so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. <laughs> he told me all the sweet things I've been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. <laughs> he needed me, now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. 
Okay. A fan and the object of her joy come together against the world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But his happiness, like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? Yeah, that's One what I think as well. Yeah, some fandoms are really crazy. Scary even. 